Washing machines come in many different shapes and sizes. In this one, the washer is on the left and the dryer is on the right. There it is. Let's see what happens if we take two very wet socks and drop one back in the bucket and put the other one in the dryer. Switch it on, close the lid and we'll give it about 15 seconds. Well, that's it. Open the lid, watch it as it slows down, see if we can find that sock, there it is there. How does it compare with the other one? You can see that it's almost dry already. Amazing. That's a spin dryer, but how does it work? How does the spin dryer work? Well, if you have a look at that spin dryer, you'll notice two things about it. One, when you switch it on and close the lid, it spins. And secondly, it has holes in it. Now, those holes are very important, and they're a bit like the tiny holes in the filter or sieve of a coffee percolator. You probably know that when you put the ground coffee into that, the holes are such a size that they'll keep the ground coffee back, but they'll let the water and the dissolved coffee pass through. That's a sieve or a filter. And the spin dryer is really a sieve or a filter, but it also spins. And the spinning is just as important as the holes. Let's see what happens when something spins. This time I have the common old egg beater and attached to it I have a piece of wool with two lumps of plasticine on it. Now I'll set the egg beater spinning very slowly and watch what happens to the pieces of plasticine. Can you see that? They're starting to swing outwards. There's a force that pulls them outwards whenever they spin. That's called centrifugal force and it applies to anything that spins, even wet clothes in the spin dryer. Okay, let's see what happens if we turn the egg beater into a sort of spin dryer. First of all, I'll get rid of the wool and I'll exchange it for an old hair clip, which as you can see is bent, ready to attach the spin dryer to it. Spin dryer in this case is going to be a very, very simple one. It's an old plastic bucket which has had lots and lots of holes poked through it with a sharp nail. Now I'm twisting the wire around so that that bucket will be held securely to the egg beater. Now, when I turn the handle of the egg beater, I have something that resembles the spin dryer in the washing machine. What we need are some wet clothes. Where can we get those? Well, we just happen to have those wet clothes in the bucket. So we'll put those into the spin drying bucket, the one with holes in it, socks, handkerchiefs, all sorts of things. There we are, and see if it does actually dry the clothes as it spins. See if it removes any of the water. Right, here we go. We'll set it spinning slowly at first. Watch the holes on the side of the bucket. There it is, it's going around. Can you see what's happening? You can for sure see that water is spinning out of that bucket. Into another bigger bucket now to catch most of the water. Spin it around for a few minutes. And although the clothes are not completely dry yet, you can see that two things have happened. They've been pushed to the outside of the bucket and also the water has kept on going. Centrifugal force has kept that water going through the holes and we've removed this much water from the clothes already. So that's a spin dryer and that's how it works. But unfortunately, I think right now what I need is a laundromat. Thank you.